What's going on YouTube is Donnie B all day bringing you another good cold steel product. Not a great cold steel product, but this is a good cold steel product at 10 inches overall with a four and a quarter German 4116 stainless steel blade with a glass filled Zydex, you know, fake wood grain handle comes the cold steel kudu now this is like a uh, a south african reproduction of a uh, tribal knife that is just as old as freaking time the thing it's a very very famous design but the problem is when you find these most of them are like novelty type things they're um <clears throat> they're basically to i am all scratchy you hear that much like, <clears throat> so um that's what they are. They're, they're generally just cheap, really, really cheap, you know, hold it in your hand and break it type things where you're worrying about snapping off the ring and this and that. This is built a little different. This is actually a very, very well heat treated blade. And even though it looks, you know, cheap or it feels like because it's so lightweight, it might feel cheap in the hand. Or if you just know the history of, of these knives and finding them and, and seeing what they're all about, you might not have a lot of faith in the Kudu. But um, Cold Steel makes a product that's so much better than any other one I've found or seen. <coughs> and um, I gotta say, this is actually a pretty cool knife. Now, a lot of people see this and they don't know what it's for. They think it's just a key ring to hold it. <clears throat> it's actually to lock. Um... What you do is you pull up on that and it releases. Let me see if I can get it back. And it comes in steps. There's like a little cutout right here, a little circle. And that's what locks on. Now, once it's open, look at this. Click, 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 click. You see how that works? It doesn't just snap. It's not a spring assist. When it opens, it does the same thing. Click, 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 click. Then it locks into place. Once it locks into place, this thing is pretty secure. It's not going anywhere. The, um, the lock design is unique. It's kind of cool. That little ring, all you do is pull on it, open, close. Thing works fantastic. But um, talking about it, blur, and showing it, two different things. So let's uh, let's do a little showtime here and show you what this thing can do. Let's kudu the voodoo. All right, so I have the the hot tub is open, and uh, you know you could always use a good refill. You could always use to freshen up some water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a swat at this. I'm going to put some of this water back into the hot tub. Let's see. Get it nice and tight here. Woo! That came back and soaked old Donnie B all day. I got a little wet on that one. It is cold. All right. So obviously it goes through with ease. Let's test the overall sharpness. Took a little bit getting through there, but once I got through, it got through. I want to see if it is going to take any hairs off. And absolutely it does. Is this um, crazy shave sharp? No, but is it shave sharp knocking some hairs off? Let me see if I can get you guys into the light a little bit. Do, 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 do. I can't see. But I don't know if you can see because I'm in a glare right now. But there is definitely, definitely hairs up there. Oh, wait, well, I'm not crying. <laughs> but uh, let me tell you something. It's good. Let's keep going. All right, I got a nice big fat cardboard box here. I'm going to uh, test this. Let me make sure I'm getting in. Damn, man, I'll tell you what. It's a strong knife, and I know this is just cardboard, and this is not some crazy test. But if you can puncture cardboard, you can puncture skin. Believe me, watch, I'll show you. Ow, ow, ow. Um, it really works. I'm not going to show you that. Um, but it, it's, it's good. What I want to do is take a couple slashes. And uh, a nice big heavy box on a cheap knife, it's going to loosen the blade up. So take a couple slashes, lose my box. It goes through like, I mean, as simple as you'd expect it to, it does. I mean, there's no loosening, there's no deformation. The thing just cruises right through. It's a, uh, I guess that you could say it's a good little utility knife, but... It would be a better functioning, I don't know, self-protection knife in my opinion. Um, but it is good for, you know, just daily use around the camp basically. You know what I mean? It is some kind of, um, 
some kind of desert field knife and it's not bad you know what i mean you could use this thing pretty much anywhere it's not going to be as strong as some of the other ones you use but it's strong enough Boop. all right let's keep going i don't have very much faith in what we're about to do just be not because the blade is bad but because it's so light this thing is air light so but what i want to do is i'm gonna hold it way at the end and uh take a couple wax here see if we can't separate some of this palette and you can see it's chipping right i'm pretty sure you guys can see some of that flying off there that rattle isn't bad it's just a little key thing a little finger hold um is this a chopper in no way hell is this a chopper can you know you chop off a rat's tail i guess if you have to this is what you use um but this thing is in no freaking way a chopper um i don't know if i got that in there Whoop, but it does throw all right short distance we'll test a longer distance later but until then let's keep going all right hopefully the wind isn't going to muff up some of the sound um it's kind of windy out here the skies are beautifully blue it's clear it's sunny it looks great but i'm chilly man all right so what we're gonna do drop test let's test the uh test the balance of this guy it's really light so hopefully it'll stick and i don't even know if it's gonna drop straight because the wind can literally blow this thing sideways and it caught just as the wind died down a little i got lucky try that again four foot drop <laughs> slow motion fall now let's give it a couple downward throws to test the durability all right all right it's got some good bite i'll tell you that all right you can see that flex man that's got a lot of spring in that steel at 41 16 um one of the best things about this is it is extremely extremely well against rust and uh, oxidation things like that this is a blade you don't have to worry about getting wet this thing, um, you know, you can use this in muddy conditions. You could use this in, you know, places where you have a lot of mugginess, like in New England. Um, but it, it's good. It's, it's good to be around areas where other knives might have oxidation problems. This one won't. The Kudu is very, very good for that. Let's see if it's very, very good for this. Take some of this rope. And, of course, it's a cold steel, so you know it's sharp. And it's going right through and look at that i mean it's just taking all those little those little pieces off the thing is sharp the thing cuts let's uh let's see if we can't remove some of this here and the thing is sharp the thing cuts it shaves um as far as you know making spear tips or you know uh trap uh pits you know trap spikes for pits and whatnot um you, you're going to want to use probably smaller pieces of wood because it would take you forever to, to carve one of these. Because normally what I would do is I would use a heavier knife and I would come down this way, spin the stick, and make my point. With such a light knife, not going to happen. So if you're going to use this to make spear tips and things like that, um, just remember you're going to need a smaller, uh, take a smaller piece of wood. But it will give you a very, very fine tip. Um, as far as arrow making, this thing is great for arrow making. Um, let's test the uh, feather sticking here. I want to make sure I'm probably in frame. That would be nice to you guys, huh? All right, so let's see. Get through that top layer. And I'll tell you, for the ones that are, for the ones that are just falling down, that would be, you know, perfect for, for making fires. I'm losing them, but I'll show you. These guys get you in there. These guys are light, fluffy, and would make great tinder. Um, feather sticking, hell yeah. So if you need this guy for fire making, um, it's gonna work. Uh, as far as durability, there's only so much you can really do with this thing. Um, it's, it's a good knife to have along with you, but not as a survival knife or camp knife. You know what I mean? It's an extra knife, basically, if you're gonna be in camp. And it's a, it's a decent survival knife. However, let's check this out. A little batoning through the wood. And it cruises. Let's check the edge. See if there's any damage. And I have to tell you that it's cold steel. The heat treat on this thing is fantastic. Remember, this is like a 
This is, I think, like their cheapest folding knife as far as price. Uh, you can get these things for almost nothing on their website, on Cold Steel's website. So think about how much cheaper you can find them just on the web at other places. This is a knife, um, if you're looking to spend almost nothing, but you want a knife that actually is heat treated um, and has a good strong edge, this right here for the money, man, is this freaking thing worth it. Um, but I want to... I want to do two more things. I want to see if, if we can skin it all with it, and then we got to put this light body through the air as it blurs out. All right, so let's go do that. Time to test to see if it's a skinner. Skinner! So let's see. Um, puncturing, it took a little bit of work to get in there, but um, once it got through, now I'm on a seam now, once it got through, it went better than some other knives I've used. Um, getting that tip in there was, was the key and it's basically, it's a clip point. So it's up swept. So, um, man, I'm getting blurry. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my eyes. It might look fine. But, um, because of the up sweep on the clip point, it, you know, you have to really work that tip down and I'm just trying, I was just going through. So, um, not the best angle for skinning, obviously, but you need to get some skinning done. It's an emergency situation. The poo do will do for you whatever you need it to do. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's put this thing to flight. I've never thrown it. This is my first time out with it. So I'm going to toss this thing and I'm going to keep going on the feed. So if I miss, you'll see me miss. Um, this is a, uh, a straight through video. I've literally, there's zero editing done. I just press pause, go to the next thing, press pause, go to the next thing. Um, I do not edit, so if I miss, you're going to see it. Let's go five yards. I mean, I'm not going to miss, most likely. So, uh, you know, you know how it is. All right, that little ring is screwing me up. Uh-oh. All right, so um, maybe I should start editing. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Man, that's three. Let's try again, guys. Let's try again. Uh oh, <laughs> that was my fault. I actually got my finger hooked on that ring. Um, all right, so here's the thing. Throwing it, that ring can jack you up a little bit. Oh, it's so light. That one landed in the tip. And then bent out, but let's, let's see. I'm glad that kind of happened. We got to check. No bending in the tip. Even though it hit and then bent, it stayed strong. So let's try that again. Well, maybe one more time. Like I said, one more time after this. <laughs> because you know I got to stick it. Man, it's so weird throwing something with a dangling ring on it. Oh, guys. I really need to start editing. Save you some time. Hey, all right, finally, it's stuck in. But it's stuck in the ground. All right, so that didn't really count. Damn. I remember when I used to be good at this shit. All right, let me see if I can't line it up here. I'm looking at everything, and it's all still secure. And I don't know why, because I am banging it against this damn tree. <laughs> yeah, all right. So I figured out how to throw it, and uh, that was actually perfect. Um, what I did is I was throwing it like this at first, and um, then I tried throwing it this way, and I had my finger pointed, that one that I threw it at the ground pretty much, and the ring literally as I threw it just banged off my finger and it pulled it downward. But on that one, what I did is I held it this way, and I grabbed it right at the end, and I threw it higher because I was trying to throw a little lower. Threw it a little higher and it was just perfect. Um, so let's see. Look, you got this little uh, little emblem here. You got that there. Nothing is loose. Let's see. If, does it open and close? It opens and closes. You know what I mean? The thing is the kudu. So, uh, so far, so good. Let's take it over to the rack. I said to the rack. 
I hate when I press pause and it doesn't pause. I just sound like an idiot. All right, so I was going to the rack and then I changed my mind. I have some weeds over here, some vines that are growing off and I wanted to trim a couple of them and I've been putting it off. So um, I'm just gonna use this real quick and see how well, I'm, I'm pretty small in there guys, but uh, I'll show you. These guys right here are pretty big. So I'll show you once I get them, what I'm looking at here, there's a few of them. Man, there are a few of them and it's working. Let's see if I could actually slash down on the last one. Oh yeah. So you can see I had these growing and they're pretty thick. They're pretty thick vines, but not, not thick enough. You know, I got this crazy kudu. That's pretty badass. So uh, let's go take a look at it. Right on. The Cold Steel Kudu. There are a ton of different versions of these things. And pretty much 99% of them are not worth buying. They are cheap. They're just horribly made. The steel is garbage. The handles break. But this is cold steel. And I'll tell you what. The price tag on this is equal to one of those uh, cheaper frost cutlery knives. But the difference is you're getting something that it can be battle tested. I mean, this thing is just ridiculous strong for what it is. Um, the price tag is awesome. Um, tell you what, if you got a Boy Scout in the family or something like that, or you know, some kid who's who's coming up and you want to get him a first knife and you don't want it to be one of those cheap knives, you want something that's going to have an edge that's going to last. You want something that you don't have to worry about them not taking care of because. You know, you don't want to get a rusty blade because they, they don't know how to wipe it off every time. Man, this thing right here, the Kudu, is just really, really cool. Um, it's a good blade. It's sharp. And the, the steel itself, the edge retention, is really freaking good. Um, it's appropriate sized. Um, it, it's just fun, man. It's a fun little knife. Um, once you get it down throwing, I'm going to start throwing this thing some more just because I think it's cool. I think I'm going to dartboard this thing and I think I'm going to use this as a uh, fun knife in the house. Uh, and it, I don't know, man, it, once, once you learn that grip, you, that little curly end there on the, on the handle, it, it, once you utilize that for throwing, things become easy. I really enjoyed that once I got it, once I got it down, it, it felt really good in the hand and I'm going to practice 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 with this thing until i can't miss because that's the most misses i think i've ever had um testing a knife sad 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 day for don to be a holiday but i'll tell you what is it worth the money hell freaking yeah cold stool cold stool <laughs> my bad cold steel kudu you uh you guys made a good one man made a good one for a cheap price i'm proud to own it and if you buy one i'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it too i'm don to be all day and until next knife